10,000 steps. Now I'm just walking around the block, so it's totally different. But that's another reason why I do them outside, because I hate the treadmill. I hate any indoor cardio machine that I have to sit down or stand up and use because I'm like, I'm not going anywhere. Yeah. Anyways, it's too hot. I missed it. What is the temperature that you said is too hot? Yeah, and then like to get in a car in those type of temperatures. Oh my goodness. Get third degree burns touching the seatbelt. There's no way I would ever be able to live in like Texas or one of those places unless I had a, an auto car starter that I could adjust the air conditioning from the outside of the car. You know how you run the car out east, northeast? You run the car in the winter to warm it up. Well, people don't do that as much now because the car will move. But back in the day, you had to actually go into the car in the winter, start it up, and you probably had to crank it up a few times and let it go until you actually get it to start and then let the car run for half an hour to make sure it actually doesn't stop on you when you're driving. But nowadays people will just press their auto car starters and let it warm up. But my point of that is in those other places, I would press it to let my air conditioning start working out. Because if the air conditioning wasn't solid, I would sit in that car and immediately start melting like the Wicked Witch of the West. Because that's what was happening to me. I would take a shower, change my clothes, step outside, and then all of a sudden, Within two minutes, I'm just dripping in sweat. And it's like that shower meant nothing. 63 degrees is too hot for you? I thought I was bad. Yikes. We have a park called Mile Square. One mile each side. So if you go around once. Yeah, the main theme of the video is 